Hello, everybody. My name is Marcos Vierci Chudek. I am from Indy, Argentina, and I would like to talk about the wireless solution for high voltage metrology. Axel Britos is the main author of this work. He is an undergraduate student from the University of Moreno, and this work is part of his student project. Brian, Andres, and Jose Luis are within the high voltage laboratory of Indy. The objective of this work is to design, build, and test a current and voltage meter for high voltage metrology, which connects a high voltage device with the user by means of a wireless connection and online registration. This meter can provide a safety measurement for devices and users because it is a floating device and with wireless connection. These two points avoid any possibility of short circuit with ground or humans. In addition, over voltage and over current protection are included in order to protect the meter itself. It also can reduce workload by means of automatic calculation and simple usability. One of our objectives is to obtain a tuned key solution. Data registration is our priority. All the data will be saved in a database. In addition, direct reading with a cell phone can be possible with Bluetooth. The design includes electromagnetic shields, battery operation, and internal memory. All these points are very important for in situ application. For example, during test of high voltage transformers. Let me show some application examples. This device is excellent for voltage measurement at divider output, which is required for many standard tests and are very useful during prototyping development. Another example is a measurement of the input and output current in a high voltage divider to determine each systematic error due to leakage current. So this test can be done during the divider development. In this measurement, one meter has to be installed close to the high voltage electrode, so wireless measurements are mandatory. In order to avoid the corona effect, the meter must be carefully installed. It must be in a constant voltage area where the electric field is minimum. The top figure shows the equipotential line, while the red color means higher voltage. The small field shows the electric field being dark blue low electric field. Both figures were obtained by a finite element analysis and they demonstrate that the meter can be stained in the center of the high voltage electron where the electric field is lower. The reference included in the slide show how this test was previously done. In addition, the electronic may be inside a metal box in order to avoid high voltage gradients. It is a Faraday case that maintains a constant voltage inside. The figure shows in dark red the constant electric potential inside the box. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth signals are attenuated by the metal walls, but our tests indicate that the Wi-Fi connectivity can be maintained for a distance of 10 meters between device and router. If a larger distance necessary, some window can be made in the wall to reduce the attenuation and improve the connectivity. Finite element simulation shows that the electric field penetration is in the order of the smaller distance between the border hole. This conclusion is clearly seen in the top figure. Blue color means lower negative electric field, and red the maximum. The difference, the chain of the electric field, is shut very close to the top of the windows. Let's talk about the meter. It is built with four blocks. The input protection block, the amplifier, current or border amplifier, the analog to digital converter, ADC, and the microcontroller. This last block 
will be designed based on a conventional platform. The input protection is based on a transient suppression diodes and fuses. Space simulation can help to study the protection against different standardized voltages and also estimate uncertainty contribution. This is of course very important in our application. Series resistance in the fuse and the leakage current and strike capacitance on the diode can affect the measurement. They must be careful control. In addition, two or more protection blocks can be connected in series, increasing the protection degree. The final design depends on the application. For example, if the output divided voltage is measured, it can be considered as equivalent voltage source with large output resistance. In this case, the leakage current can increase the uncertainty and the protection degree is improved by the source resistance. So one block seems to be enough to that application. The voltage amplifier is built with an input buffer, a second order filter and a fully differential amplifier. The input buffer presents a high input impedance. The filter introduces a cutoff frequency close to 2 kHz and the fully differential amplifier adapts the voltage level to the ADC. This figure presents the frequency response of the filter designed to measure line power frequency up to the harmonic number 10. A Monte Carlo analysis was performed showing that the component tolerance does not affect the flatness of the transfer function. The current amplifier is a modification of the previous amplifier. The input buffer was replaced with a current 2 volt amplifier. This design has a unique range of 1 mA, DC coupling and very low input impedance. Both circuits were combined in a single board of 5 by 5 cm and the selection between both circuits is performed with an analog multiplexer. In addition, the same board includes a 10-bit ADC and its voltage reference. There you have the ADC and the voltage reference. This is the amplifier and this is the analog multiplexer. We also have developed a high accuracy board based on 18 bits ADC converter. With this board, we obtain an effective number of bits equal to 15 for a sample rate of 100 kHz. We plan to modify this design to fix in a 5 by 5 cm board to standardize all the board of the project. Here is a differential input amplifier. Here is the ADC and the voltage reference driver. And here you can find the digital isolators. The meter is controlled with an ESP32 microprocessor. It is ideal for wireless application because it has in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth implemented on chip. An open source development kit is used because it can be easily found in the Argentine market. And an adapter board was designed to connect the microcontroller with the ADC and the power supply. The voltage supply needed by the amplifier and microprocessor are included in a 5 by 5 cm board, which include a plus and minus 12 volt, plus and minus 5 volt, and 3.3 volt supplies. This board also includes a battery monitoring circuit. A rechargeable lithium battery pack was also designed, which includes connection to a commercial charge circuit. Wireless meters are very useful for high voltage metrology and, of course, to high voltage industry. A remote voltage and current meter was designed. It provides safety and open one accuracy measurement. We plan to develop also high accuracy meters. Thank you very much for your attention and I hope to see you in the meeting.